students, welcome to Rushmi's classes. Today we'll discuss on Insert Class 11 Biology Chapter 4 Animal Kingdom Introduction When you look around, you will notice various animals with varying structures and forms. With over a million animal species documented to date, the necessity for taxonomy becomes even more essential. The categorization also aids in the systematic placement of newly described species. Despite changes in structure and shape, there are essential features shared by all animals in terms of cell arrangement, body symmetry, chylome type, and patterns of digestive, circulatory, or reproductive systems. Levels of Organization Despite the fact that all members of Animalia are multicellular, they do not all have the same cell organization pattern. Cells in sponges, for example, are grouped as loose cell aggregates indicating that they have a cellular level of organization. Among the cells, there is some division of labor, activities. The cell arrangement in coelenterates is more complicated. The cells that perform the same function are grouped together into tissues, which is referred to as the tissue level of organization. Members of platyhelminthes and other higher phyla exhibit a higher degree of organization, i.e., organ level, in which tissues are gathered together to form organs, each specialized for a certain function. Organs in animals such as annelids, arthropods, mollusks, echinoderms, and chordates have become associated to form functional systems, each of which is concerned with a distinct physiological role. This arrangement is known as organ system level organization. Symmetry Animals can be classified based on their symmetry. Sponges are generally asymmetrical which means that no plane that runs through the center divides them into equal halves. Radial symmetry arises when any plane passing through the body's central axis divides it into two identical halves. This is the body plan of coelenterates, tenophores, and echinoderms. Animals with bilateral symmetry include annelids, arthropods, and others whose bodies may be divided into identical left and right halves in just one plane. Diploblastic and Triploblastic Organization Diploblastic animals, such as coelenterates, have cells arranged in two embryonic layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm. Mesoglia is an undifferentiated layer that exists between the ectoderm and the endoderm. Triploblastic animals are those in which the growing embryo has a third germinal layer, mesoderm, between the ectoderm and endoderm. Chylome In organism classification, the presence or absence of a cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is important. Chylome refers to the body cavity lined by mesoderm. Silimates are animals that have chylome, such as annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates, and chordates. In some species, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm, but rather, the mesoderm is present as dispersed pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a bodily cavity is known as a pseudocellum, and the creatures that have them are known as pseudocellumates, such as Aschelminthes. Achylomates are animals that do not have a body cavity, such as Platyhelminthes. Segmentation In certain species, the body is split into segments both externally and internally, with at least some organs repeated serially. The body of an earthworm, for example, has this pattern known as metameric segmentation, and the phenomenon is known as metamerism. Notochord The notochord is a mesodermally derived rod-like structure that emerges on the dorsal side in some animals during embryonic development. Chordates are creatures that have a notochord, while non-chordates are animals that do not have one such as porifera and echinoderms. 
classification of animals. Figure below depicts the broad categorization of animalia based on the common fundamental features stated in the preceding sections. Phylum, Porifera Sponge-like organisms are members of this phylum. They are mostly asymmetrical and live in the sea. These are primitive multicellular animals with cellular organization. Sponges have a canal system for transportation. Water enters the body wall through minute pores, ostea, into a central cavity, the spongocele, from which it exits through the osculum. This water transport pathway aids in food gathering, respiratory exchange, and waste removal. Coanocytes, also known as collar cells, line the spongocele and canals. Digestion occurs intracellularly. A skeleton made of spicules or spongin fibers supports the body. Sexes are not separate, hermaphrodite, which means that the same individual produces both eggs and sperms. Sponges reproduce asexually through fragmentation and sexually through gamete formation. Internal fertilization occurs, and development is indirect, with a larval stage that is morphologically distinct from the adult. Sycon, Sypha, Spongilla, Freshwater Sponge, and Euspongia, Bath Sponge, are a few examples. Phylum, Coelenterata, Nadaria. They are radially symmetrical aquatic, mostly marine, sessile, or free-swimming animals. The name Nadaria is derived from the presence of nadoblasts or nadocytes on the tentacles and body. Nidoblasts are employed for prey capture, defense, and anchoring. Nidarians are diploblastic and have a tissue level of organization. They have a single opening in the center of their gastrovascular cavity and their mouth is hypostome. Digestion occurs both extracellularly and intracellularly. Some nidarians, such as corals, have a skeleton made of calcium carbonate. Nadarians have two basic body forms, polyp and medusa. The former, like Hydra, Adamsia, and others, is sessile and cylindrical, whereas the latter is umbrella-shaped and free-swimming, like Aurelia or jellyfish. Those nadarians that exist in both forms display generational alternation, metagenesis which means that polyps create medusae asexually and medusae produce polyps sexually, example Obelia. Physical alia, Portuguese man of war, Adamsia, sea anemone, penitula, sea pen, gorgonia, sea fan, and mindina, brain coral, are some examples. Phylum, Tenophora Tenophores often known as comb jellies or sea walnuts, are radially symmetrical, diploblastic animals with tissue-level organization and are entirely marine. On the outside of the body are eight rows of ciliated comb plates that aid in movement. Extracellular and intracellular digestion are both involved in digestion. Tenophores have a lot of bioluminescence, the ability of a living creature to emit light. The sexes are not divided. Sexual reproduction is the only way to reproduce. Fertilization is done externally with indirect development. Pleurobrachia and Teneplana are some examples. Phylum, Platyhelminthes. Flatworms get their name from the fact that their bodies are flattened dorsoventrally. These are mostly endoparasites that can be found in animals, including humans. Flatworms are animals with organ-level organization that are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and achylomate. In the parasitic forms, hooks and suckers are present. Some of them directly absorb nutrients from the host via their body surface. Flame cells are specialized cells that aid in osmoregulation and excretion. The sexes are not distinct. Internal fertilization occurs, 
and development takes place through a number of larval stages. Tenya, tapeworm, facila, liver fluke, are some examples. Phylum, Aschelminthes The Aschelminthes body is circular in cross-section, thus the name roundworms. They might be free-living, aquatic, or terrestrial, or they can be parasitic in plants and animals. The body organization of roundworms is organ system level. With a well-developed muscular pharynx, the alimentary canal is completed. Through the excretory pores, an excretory tube removes waste from the body cavity. Sexes are distinct, dioecious, i.e., males and females exist separately. Females are frequently longer than males. Internal fertilization occurs, and development can be direct, the young resemble the adult, or indirect. Ascaris, roundworm, watcheraria, filaria worm, ancelostoma, hookworm. Phylum, anlita. They can be aquatic, both marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free-living or parasitic. They have organ system level of body organization as well as bilateral symmetry. They are silimate, triploblastic and metamerically segmented animals. Their body surface is clearly divided into segments or metameres, giving rise to the phylum name Anlita, Latin, annulus, little ring. They have both longitudinal and circular muscles that aid in locomotion. Aquatic anlids, such as Nereus, have lateral appendages called parapodia that aid in swimming. There is a closed circulatory system set up. Nephridia, also known as nephridium, aids in osmoregulation and excretion. The neural system is made up of paired ganglia, synganglion, that are linked by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Earthworms and leeches are monoecious, whereas Nereus, an aquatic form, is dioecious. Reproduction is a sexual process. Nereus, Pheretima, Earthworm, and Herudinaria, blood-sucking leech, are some examples. Phylum Arthropoda also includes vectors such as Anopheles, Culex, and Aedes, mosquitoes. Gregarious pests such as locusta, locust, and living fossils like limulus, king crab, are included in arthropoda. Phylum, mollusca. This is the second most populous animal phylum. Mollusks are either terrestrial or aquatic, marine or freshwater, organisms with organ system level organization. They are triploblastic. Silimate animals with bilateral symmetry. The body is unsegmented and covered by a calcareous shell, with a distinct head, muscular foot, and visceral hump. A soft and spongy layer of skin creates a mantle over the visceral hump. The mantle cavity, which contains feather like gills, is located between the hump and the mantle. They have the ability to breathe and expel waste. Sensory tentacles can be found in the anterior head region. The radula is a file-like rasping organ found in the mouth that is used for feeding. Pila, apple snail, pinctida, pearl oyster, sepia, cuttlefish, loligo, squid, octopus, devilfish, aplysia, sea hare, dentalium, tusk shell, and chetopleura, chitin. Phylum Echinodermata The name Echinodermata comes from the fact that these animals have an endoskeleton made up of calcareous ossicles. All are marine and organized at the organ system level. The name Echinodermata comes from the fact that these animals have an endoskeleton made up of calcareous ossicles. All are marine and organized at the organ system level. Adult echinoderms are radially symmetrical, whereas larval echinoderms are bilaterally symmetrical. They are silimate and triploblastic animals. 
with the mouth on the lower, ventral, side and the anus on the upper, dorsal, side, the digestive system is complete. The presence of a water vascular system in echinoderms aids in locomotion, food capture and transport, and respiration. An excretory system is not present. Sexes are distinct. Mode of reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually done externally. Asterias, starfish, echinus, sea urchin, antidon, sea lily, cucumaria, sea cucumber, and ophiura, brittle star. Phylum, hemichordata. Hemichordates have a basic structure in the collar region termed the stomochord, which is analogous to the notochord. This phylum is made up of a tiny group of worm-like marine organisms that are organized on an organ system level. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and silimate creatures. The body is cylindrical and consists of an anterior proboscis, a collar, and a lengthy trunk. The circulatory system is of the open kind. The gills are responsible for respiration. The excretory organ is the proboscis gland. Sexes are distinct. The mode of fertilization is external. Development occurs in an indirect manner. Balanoglossus and sacoglossus are examples of hemichordates. Phylum, Chaudata a notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord, and paired pharyngeal gill slits distinguish chaudata animals. These are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and silimate organ system cells. They have a postanal tail and a closed circulatory system. Classification of phylum chaudata Uricordata or tunicata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata are the three subphyla of the phylum chaudata. Both the subphylums uricordata and cephalochordata are marine and are frequently referred to as protochordate. The notochord is only present in the larval tail of uricordata, whereas it extends from the head to the tail region in cephalochordata and is present throughout their lives. During the embryonic period, members of the subphylum vertebrata have a notochord. In adults, the notochord is replaced in adults by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column. As a result, all vertebrates are chordates, but not all chordates are vertebrates. Vertebrates contain a 2 3 or 4 chambered ventral muscular heart kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation and paired appendages that can be fins or limbs, in addition to the fundamental chaudate traits. Classification of subphylum vertebrata Class, Cyclostomata Members of the class Cyclostomata who are still alive are parasitic ectoparasites on some fish. They have an elongated body with 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits that allow them to breathe. Cyclostomes have a sucking mouth and no jaws. Scales are missing from their bodies, and their fins are paired. The cranium and vertebral column are made up of cartilage. The circulation system is closed. Cyclostomes are marine creatures that migrate to fresh water for spawning. They die a few days after spawning. After metamorphosis, their larvae return to the ocean. Examples are Petromizon, Lamprey, and Myxine, Hagfish. Class, Chondrichthyes. They are streamlined marine animals with a cartilaginous endoskeleton. The mouth is located ventral. The notochord remains constant throughout life. Gill slits are distinct and lack an operculum, gill cover. The skin is tough and covered in small placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales that are oriented backwards. Their jaws are extremely powerful. These creatures are predators. Because they lack an air bladder, they must swim constantly to avoid sinking. 
The heart is divided into two chambers, one oracle and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded creatures, poikilotherms, i.e. they don't have the ability to control their body temperature. Sexes are distinct. Males have claspers on their pelvic fins. Their mode of fertilization is internal and most of them are viviparous. Examples are scoliodon, dogfish, pristis, sawfish, carcharodon, great white shark, trigone, stingray. Class, Ostichthyes. It includes both freshwater and marine fishes with a bony endoskeleton. Their physique is streamlined. The mouth is primarily terminal, figure 4.20. They have four pairs of gills on each side, which are covered by an operculum. Cycloid-slash-tenoid scales cover the skin. There is an air bladder present that regulates buoyancy. The heart is divided into two chambers, one auricle and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded creatures. The sexes are distinct. Fertilization is typically done externally. They are generally oviparous and have direct development. Marine examples are Exocetus, Flying Fish, Hippocampus, Seahorse. Freshwater examples include Labio, Rohu, Catla, Catla, Clarias, Megur. Aquarium examples are Beta, Fighting Fish, Terraphilum, Angel Fish. Class, Amphibians. Amphibians can live in both aquatic and terrestrial environments. The majority of them have two pairs of limbs. The body is divided into two parts, the head and the trunk. Some creatures may have a tail. The amphibian's skin is wet, without scales. Eyelids are present in the eyes. A tympanum is a representation of the ear. The alimentary canal, urinary tract, and reproductive tract all connect to a common chamber called the cloaca, which opens to the outside. Respiration is done via the gills, lungs, and skin. The heart is made up of three chambers, two auricles and one ventricle. These are cold-blooded creatures. The sexes are distinct. Fertilization is done externally. They are oviparous and develop in an indirect manner. Examples are bufo, toad, rana, frog, hyla, tree frog, salamandra, salamander, ichthyophys, limbless amphibia. Class, Reptilia. They are usually terrestrial animals with dry and cornified skin, epidermal scales, or scutes covering their bodies. They have no external ear holes. A tympanum is a representation of the ear. When limbs are present, they are in two pairs. Heart is generally three-chambered but crocodiles have a four-chambered heart. Poikilotherms are reptiles. Lizards and snakes shed their scales in the form of skin cast. The sexes are distinct. Internal fertilization occurs. They are oviparous and develop in a direct manner. Examples are calone, turtle, testudo, tortoise, chameleon, tree lizard, calotes, garden lizard, crocodilus, crocodile, alligator, alligator, hemidactylus, wall lizard. Poisonous snakes such as naja, cobra, bangarus, krite, vipera, viper are also included in reptiles. Class, Aves The presence of feathers distinguishes aves, birds, and most of them can fly, with the exception of flightless birds, example ostrich. They have a beak. The forelimbs have been transformed into wings. Scales cover the hind limbs, which are modified for walking, swimming, and grasping tree branches. Except for an oil gland at the base of the tail, the skin is dry and gland-free. The long bones are hollow with air cavities, pneumatic, 
and the endoskeleton is entirely ossified, bony. The crop and gizzard are extra chambers in the digestive tract of birds. The heart has four chambers. They are warm-blooded, homoeothermous, animals, which means they can keep their body temperature constant. The lungs are responsible for respiration. Respiration is supplemented by air sacs connected to the lungs. The sexes are distinct. Internal fertilization occurs. They are oviparous and development is in a direct manner. Examples are corvus, crow, columba, pigeon, cedicula, parrot, struthio, ostrich, pavo, peacock, aptenodites, penguin, neophron, vulture. Class, Mammalia They can be found in a wide range of environments, including arctic ice caps, deserts, mountains, woods, grasslands, and subterranean caves. Some of them have developed the ability to fly or live inside water. The existence of milk-producing glands, mammary glands, that nourish the young is the most distinctive mammalian feature. They have two pairs of limbs that allow them to walk, run, climb, burrow, swim, or fly. Mammalian skin is remarkable in that it has hair. There are external ears called pinny. The jaw has many types of teeth. The heart has four chambers. These creatures are homoeothermic. The lungs are responsible for respiration. Sexes are separate and fertilization is done internally. With a few exceptions, they are viviparous, and the manner of development is direct. Examples are oviparous ornithorhynchus, platypus, viviparous, Macropus, kangaroo, pteropus, flying fox, camelus, camel, macaca, monkey, ratus, rat, canis, dog, felis, cat, elephas, elephant, equus, horse, delphinus, common dolphin, balanoptera, blue whale, panthera tigris, tiger, panthera leo, lion. Frequently asked question. FAQs, Animal Kingdom Class Question, What are the key points covered in the notes for Class 11 Biology Chapter 4 Notes? Answer Classification of Animals All important categories are mentioned under Animal Classification, such as Phylum Porifera Coelenterata, Nadaria, Tenophora, Platyhelminthes, Aschelminthes, Anlida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, Hemichordata, Chaudata, and so on. Question, make a list of the many factors or criteria used to classify animals. Answer. Levels of organization. Symmetry. Body cavity. Segmentation. Digestive system Circulatory system Respiratory system Are the factors used to classify animals? Question, what is meant by radial symmetry? Give some examples of species that have this trait. Answer Radial symmetry arises when any plane passing through the body's central axis divides it into two identical halves. This is the body plan of coelenterates, tenophores, and echinoderms. Question, distinguish between chordates and non-chordates. Answer. Chordates. Non-chordates. Notochord is present. Notochord is absent. Central nervous system is hollow, single, and dorsal. Central nervous system is solid, double and ventral. Pharynx perforated by gill slits. Gills are not present. Heart is ventral. Heart, if present is dorsal. A post-anal part, tail, is present. A post-anal part, tail, is absent. 
Question, state the characteristic features of phylum Annelida. Answer. They can be aquatic, both marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free-living or parasitic. They have organ system level of body organization as well as bilateral symmetry. They are silimate, triploblastic and metamerically segmented animals. Their body surface is clearly divided into segments or metameres, giving rise to the phylum name Anlita, Latin, annulus, little ring. They have both longitudinal and circular muscles that aid in locomotion. Aquatic annelids, such as Nereus, have lateral appendages called parapodia that aid in swimming. There is a closed circulatory system set up. Nephridia, also known as nephridium, aids in osmoregulation and excretion. The neural system is made up of paired ganglia, synganglion, that are linked by lateral nerves to a double ventral nerve cord. Reproduction is a sexual process. Nereus, Pheretima, Earthworm, and Hirudinaria, Blood-sucking Leech, are some examples. Question, according to Class 11 Chapter 4 Notes, what are mammary glands? Answer The existence of milk-producing glands that nourish the young is the most distinctive mammalian feature of Class Mammalia. Such milk-producing glands are called mammary glands. They are also present in males but are non-functional. Question, what are silimates? Answer. Chylome refers to the body cavity lined by mesoderm. Silimates are animals that have chylome, such as annelids, mollusks, arthropods, echinoderms, hemichordates, and chordates. In some species, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm, but rather, the mesoderm is present as dispersed pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. Such a bodily cavity is known as a pseudocellum, and the creatures that have them are known as pseudocellumates, such as Aschelminthes. Achylomates are animals that do not have a body cavity, such as Platyhelminthes. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.